We are two weeks out from the Half Ironman in Waco, seven weeks out from Ironman Arizona. This morning, I start my three-day block on the bike. It's gonna be a lot of biking. And today, we have 30 minutes of above threshold work. So, let's get to work. Got done with the warm up. The main set today, 30 by one minute at 330 watts or more. It's gonna be off erg. So what that means is that you have to switch gear. So if you wanna push less or more power, you gotta switch down or up to uh, do that. The smart trainer won't let you keep it at a constant watt. So it's gonna be 15 minutes at one minute, 330 watts, low cadence, around 60, a minute rest in between. So we're gonna do that 15 rounds and then a 10 minute shakeout spin and then the other half, the second half, 15 minutes. So it's gonna be a tough one today. We're gonna to probably go into VO2 max, but at, at least threshold work for this morning. That was good. Good set. Good set. <sighs> the workout went well. I did like the mid to high 330 watts in terms of power for all the 30 repetitions that I did on the bike, which was pretty strong effort for me. Not too hard, not too easy, just in a sweet spot of the perceived effort, seven to eight out of 10. The last one I hit 420 average watts for one minute, so just finished it out hard and strong. The legs feel very powerful. And after that, I did a 30 minute runoff where I did 10 minutes easy, 10 minutes where I go 20 seconds, pick up the pace, 40 seconds easy for 10 minutes, and then 10 minutes easy back home. And all that's left today is a one hour swim and lots of stretching for tonight because tomorrow we have an Ironman Arizona virtual simulation course on Zwift. And by the way, I'm verified on Zwift. So I have this little check mark beside my name. So if you see me writing on Zwift, you'll see that check mark beside my name. So that's cool. I'll be doing that with my teammate, Steven. He just lives like five minutes away from me. So we're gonna, we both have the same bike workout so we can motivate each other and you know, it's kind of boring riding four hours by yourself inside. It does help having that extra person for motivation. Today was a strong day. Tomorrow's an even bigger day. Sunday is also a bigger day than tomorrow. So gotta keep that refuel, keep the nutrition going, recover, stretch, and just three days of hard biking. And then after that, Monday's recovery. The next morning, Saturday with Steven, we have the pain cave all set up. We are doing the first four hours of the Ironman Arizona course all inside. Much better to do it with someone else so we can motivate each other. We have the same workout and excited to start. Keegan's here too. <laughs> Three bikes. Maybe we could one more. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what we could, athlete. right there. FTP test for Keegan, let's go. Just finished with the bike. Four hours, 15 minutes was the final time. I was about to give up at the end, but luckily I had Steven push me to the end. I, I wouldn't have done it without him or Keegan. So it's really awesome riding with someone in a group for these indoor rides. Now he has a 30 minute runoff and I have a one hour runoff where I do two sets of 5K, 3.1 miles at 70.3 pace. So my legs are smashed, but let's see how the body adapts and responds to this. And then after that, it's pretty much 
the same thing as yesterday. Today's the day I almost cracked. My coach almost broke me. And riding indoors for four hours at this kind of wattage, at this power, this intensity, it's pretty hard. Four hours and 15 minutes, the end result, which was an average of 216 watts and a normalized power of 240. So that equates to 3.69 watts per kilo for four hours and 15 minutes, which is insane. For this type of indoor ride, you're constantly pushing tension, pushing watts on the pedals at all times. Two 10 minute breaks, one five minute break, where you could like pedal easy, but you're constantly pushing out like 265, 260, 255 watts for 30 minutes for an hour, which was like devastating to the knees and the lower back. I don't do these indoors ride often. I like going outside. Riding inside well, is definitely harder than riding outside. So when I do get outside, I can, you know, push more watts. I'm so lucky to have Steven and Keegan there with me. Without them, I don't think I would have completed the workout and checked all the boxes for today's set. But luckily they were there. I got to see Keegan's power FTP set, which he had on his own. And Steven and I did the same workout. It was supposed to be the first three hours of Arizona, but my coach added some more. So it went four hours. So anything after three hours with extra credit, I got pushed a lot at the end from Steven. He's been having a very solid training. Right after that, I did a almost an hour run, 8.5 miles, where I had two sets of five kilometer run at race pace, 70.3 race pace. The 5Ks, I went 19.18 for the first one, five minute easy jog, and then 19.09 for the second one. So very solid, an average of 6.43 pace for the overall running set, one hour, 8.55 miles. After a couple hours, I rested, and then Steven and I went to the pool. I got in a 4,000 meter swim, just like continuous swimming, but very easy. And then tomorrow is the biggest day. I will be going to Waco, and we have a five hour bike into a 30 minute run but I think I did feel some kind of an itch on my right shin and I do not want to get injured. So I told my coach about it and we're gonna cancel the run and I may do five and a half or six hour ride or maybe just five, depending on how I feel. We're gonna do the 70.3 course, the half Ironman in Waco uh, two times. So pretty much the Ironman Waco course and add on if necessary, if I have more time left so gotta stretch more tonight tomorrow's the last day of the three-day bike block Made it to Waco on Sunday and I'm solo today. We have a five-ish hour ride. Gonna do the Ironman course. I guess if I get lost or if I get stuck, I'll try to find my way back. But this ride is nothing too hard and it's just like get the miles in, don't push yourself. I had a rough past two days with the bike. So it's also pretty cold out. So I gotta get going and warm myself up. Got done with the bike, 116 miles. We're already at Bicycle World, so we're getting something special. And I can't wait to show you guys. Look at the bike here. So we're gonna take this guy in to Bicycle World, right here. That was a pretty good ride. I'll tell you later about it. Bloodshot. Oh my gosh, we got the pulley system installed from Ceramic Speed. Oh, it's so good. And we got a disc wheel as well. Now I'm gonna head and get some lunch. It's 3 p.m. so I'm starving. And then I think I wanna buy another, another training shoes from Waco Running Company because of the shin splint. And I don't wanna get injured. It was good to switch out running shoes. But a little exploration here in Waco before 
I head home. You may be asking, am I tired after 160 miles of biking? Not really. I just had a lot of caffeine, so I'm pretty pumped up right now. I may be tired in like an hour, but I have one more Red Bull in my car for the two hour drive back home. So hopefully it outlast. Got the Asics. I never ran an Asics, so I can't wait to try it. It's usually Nike, Saucony, On, Hoka. But after trying these shoes, I've tried five different shoes in the store and I really like this one. I'm a big like cushioning guy. So big shoes with cushioning so I don't get injured because I run a lot. So yeah, ASIC shoes. What a successful three day of just biking a lot. I biked almost 12 hours in those three days and lots of lots of miles. I did the Ironman Waco course. It's 116 miles. It's a two loop course. The first loop, I forgot to turn left, so I, I rode down and I'm like, wait, this, I'm in the wrong spot. So I had a U-turn and came back, so that's like an extra two miles. And when you turn around, you don't go all the way to where you start. It's like saving two more miles, so that's why it's 116 miles. But my average power was 191, not bad, after of what I did yesterday. And normalized power, 202, so it's above that 200 mark. And this is just three days of hard biking. Yesterday, four hours, 15 minutes. Two days ago, almost two hours. And two days, five hours, 40 minutes. So almost like the Tour de France in those three days. And these Tour de France riders, they're riding five, six, four hours every day for three weeks. So you can, you can tell how much they're going through in the body. And they're not like doing this pacing. They're it's like sprinting all out to the finish and there's crashes and all this, all this, everything the Tour de France that you can think of, all the craziness. I'm ready for the half Ironman in two weeks in Waco. Now I just gotta maintain, sharpen the skills, don't get injured, make it to the start line healthy. And I also do feel ready for the Ironman in Arizona. The goal will be to get some rest in this half Ironman and then build back up and then taper for my biggest race of the year, Ironman Arizona. I did get something special from Bicycle World, the ceramic speed and a little something else too, but I'll show you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.